<laughs> Tamari, that's, uh, I believe, a career high for you with 17 points. Just obviously, Ole Miss wanted no part of you guys on offense, but you just talk about how you were able to get open and find open spots in, in their defense. Um, in practice, <clears throat> our past two practices, we had just been um, working on our movement without the ball, uh, finding an open spot, making it easy play. And um, my teammates were proud of me. Well. Renata, it seemed like you struggled a little bit there in the first half. What did you turn on in the second half that maybe Kelly Barber talked to you a little bit about uh, maybe your first half play? Um, I thought in the first half I was just really pretty passive. I also thought in the first half, um, I was kind of letting some of the comments that were made, you know, just kind of feeding into that. And I thought in the second half, I just, you know, my teammates just kept talking to me and we discussed just not really paying attention to those things and, and just focusing on our game. All right, kind of speaking of comments, are you able to share what you said after that buzzer beater there? <laughs> I don't know if you want to hear what I said after that one. But, um, no, I ain't, I ain't really say nothing. My teammates said they knew it was, was going in, so I, I was just, you know, I was excited, though. It was just a little bounce out there. I was excited. Ray, you, you keep getting hit in the face in, in games. Just, I mean, I know you. You get your, you get involved, you get close to the ball, but are you, um, would you wish opponents to maybe stop hitting you in the face so much at this point? <laughs> uh, yeah, a little bit, but I mean, that just comes with being aggressive and just like you said, going after the ball. That is done happen. <laughs> uh, Tamari, I think this is the first time you've had double digit points since mid January. How, how good did it feel to get into a little bit of a rhythm here as the season comes to a close, the regular season? Um, it felt good. Uh, I've been working. Working hard in practice, trying to um, rebound more, and get put backs, and just find the open spot. So I feel like today was really rewarding. Very good. Tomorrow, you're, you're just a freshman, but you're watching that senior night ceremony and that's a little bit different you know than the way a regular game starts. Just what's going through your mind when you're watching Lou and, and camera? out there right before the game? Um, it was special um, for all of us. We're all really close. So we've heard all day, you know, time flies here. This is gonna be like the fastest four years of your life. And we just don't want to take any of that for granted. Damn. <laughs> Renata, what's the, uh, what's the team's sense for this performance? I mean, you, you guys throttled Ole Miss earlier in the, in the season and, and you're up by like, like 20 in the second quarter, then, then they cut it to three. Is it, do you guys have a good feeling about this, or do you feel like maybe this was just kind of an uneven effort? I mean, what's what's the, the general sense of the, of the team about this game? Um, well, I mean, I, I personally knew that Ole Miss would come with a different and better game plan than the first game because we did beat them so bad the first time. But tonight, I just thought, well, first, I'm just glad we got the win. But also, I just thought that there were moments where we were, were kind of lax out there. Um, but there, there were also moments where we were able to come together and, you know, go on our run and, and keep that lead to a smooth 10. I thought we, we, we stayed at 10 for the majority of the um, second half. Lewis. Hey, um, Renai, what was, what was the major difference between Ole Miss last time and this time? What is it that they adjusted to um, in this game? I, I, I thought they, they focused in a lot more on, on me, personally, on defense. Um, apparently, that, that was the game plan. That's how I felt out there. But uh, again, I, I thought my teammates did a good job of just playing regardless of what kind of defense they were playing on me, just hitting shots, driving to the basket, get to the free throw line. I also thought that um, we did a good, good job from the free throw line tonight, which, which was huge for us. Ray, a lot of emotion goes into this game, but you guys got one more. You got to go to Auburn. Uh, nine and six right now. Ten and six just sounds better, I think. It probably sounds better as a player. Just what y'all's focus to get that one one regular season done and right get back on the road. Just how, how much is that a challenge for you guys at this point in the season? Because everybody's tired. Everybody's bodies are hurting. Just how do y'all 
How do y'all get ready for Sunday? Um, I feel like we're just making sure that we're working on stuff that not only is going to matter in that game, but in like tournament play too as well. So just make sure we're working on the, those details and fixing stuff that we need to work on and get better at.